You've just found our amazing sport of cycling and we want to give you a very big warm welcome because you, well, you're going to absolutely love it. It's fun, exhilarating, healthy and sometimes life-changing. It can be challenging and sometimes even painful, but it's still fun. Type 2 fun. So to help you have more fun, this is our video on top tips on what not to do when you start cycling. This one, it's a banger. Now, one thing that can cause you to feel you are fitter than you are is a tailwind. We've all been there, flying along with the wind on our backs, thinking we are on flying form. Only to begin to turn around in the ride and realise you're faced with a, well, how can we put it, stinking headwind. It's not the best feeling, your speed slows considerably and, well, the ride turns into a massive slog. So, here at GCN, we recommend checking where the wind is coming from and try to finish your rides with a tailwind. There's no better feeling than finishing up the day with the wind on your back and flying home. Now, it won't be long until you start using clipless pedals when you start road cycling. A slightly strange name, given that you clip into them. But their origins come from the fact that they replace the traditional toe clips that everyone used in the late 80s. The trouble is your feet are effectively attached to the pedals and to get out of them you need to twist. Which is easy, as long as you're thinking about it. The problems come when you want to put your foot down in an emergency and your natural instinct is just to pull upwards and backwards. Which won't get you off your bike, unfortunately. So, make sure you practice getting out of your pedals, preferably in a soft environment where you won't hurt yourself as much if you do fall. Now, um, I think I need to do a bit more practice because it's rather embarrassing when this happens and you're in a group and there's people watching you. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so, I'm going to get on my bike, try again and do some practicing because you know what they say, practice makes perfect. You do need some practice, mate. Yeah. The first thing you'll notice about your rope bike is your saddle. It just doesn't look comfortable, does it? Look at it. So the temptation to go for that big, soft, comfy looking one is definitely there. But looks can be deceiving. Go for one that fits you, a minimalist one like this one, will be far more comfortable than those big, fat, soft ones. Trust me, take this advice because your bottom, well, it will thank you. Oh, like getting in an armchair. Now, there aren't many sports where you see people eating as they take part. However, cycling is definitely one of them. Neglect to eat or even replace the calories you've lost and you'll soon be hit by the dreaded bonk. To anyone who hasn't experienced this, it basically feels like a sucker punch from Mike Tyson to the face. Now, to avoid this happening to you, Make sure you bring some food with you on your rides and eat at regular intervals. I'm going to tuck in some uh, croissants now. Yeah, try not to overindulge though. Another thing that can stop you in your tracks is a mechanical, unless you're prepared, of course. The most common being a puncture, which is relatively easy to fix if you've got the essentials. A pump, inner tube, tyre levers, it's also a good idea to take a small multi-tool. It'll get you out of most small bike-related issues. A common mistake amongst new riders is overestimating your fitness. So start small and then work your way up to those bigger rides. The last thing you want to do is sit out on a big ride and then only manage half of it. I think I'm overestimating my fitness now. Big climb. Now you can often tell a new cyclist by their saddle height, either too high or too low. A really easy method to help you find your saddle height is by placing a pedal to six o'clock. Then place your heel on that pedal like so. Now you should find your legs straight. Then when you go to clip in, you should find a slight bend in your knee. Now, if you need any more advice on that, then go to a professional bike fit or ask the advice of an experienced cyclist like this guy. The last 
thing you should never ever do when you're new to cycling is wear your helmet backwards. Don't laugh, we have seen people do it in sportifs. It's not a good look and it's probably not the safest either. The clues in the retention, it should be at the back of your head. So that was our nine tips on what not to do when starting out cycling. If we've missed anything, leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and for more how to's, click on my bike. Guys, get off my bike. Sorry. Sorry, sorry Hank.